Hey y'all, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies. It is a Sunday morning. <clears throat> I just wanted to share with you guys um, a couple things that I've been doing. Some people call them gigs, some people call them, call them side hustles, whatever whatever the term is. Um, it, you know, it, it's extra cash. Uh, we're still, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. We're still being instructed to be socially distant. And uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what, you know, some extra things that I've been doing. So the first thing I did, I just stopped, went through the drive-through at uh, Dunkin' Donuts and was able to take my receipt right here. Took my Dunkin' Donuts receipt. I scanned it into this app called Fetch. So Fetch, it's Fetch, Fetch Rewards. I'll, um, I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. So basically what they do is everything you do, whether you go get gas, whether you go to the grocery store, um, you go to the carry out, you go pick up dinner, you order dinner in, you scan the receipt, and what happens is it now applies points. So I just scanned in my receipts from the last couple days. I got 2,000 points, right? 2,000 points. And then because I'm new to the app, I got an additional over 3,000 bonus points. So I actually have over 5,000 points just by scanning in a couple pieces of paper. Those, those points with Fetch equate to dollars, right? So if you, if you click the link below, get the app, sign up for it, it will uh, activate your account almost immediately. You can scan in your receipts. So what will happen is you'll get points and you'll see in the app that with those points, you can convert those points over to, to money, to real money. So they have cards in there. You could convert those points over to a Walmart card, Walmart card, uh, Amazon card, uh, Exxon card, I mean, wherever. And those points add up. You convert those points into dollars by adding them to these cards and you use them like real money. It's, you know, the simplest thing. I mean, you know, so I'm out and about today. Um, uh, on my way, I have an Amazon Flex order coming up in a couple hours, but I went out this morning and wanted to share with you guys what I did. So it's about um, 9.30 a.m. And I'm sorry, I started around 9.30 a.m. And I got a roadie order. I don't know if you're familiar with Rody. Um, Rody is another app that you can become basically a delivery driver. Right? You have packages at Walmart, you have packages at um, Advanced Auto Parts, you have packages that you'll pick up at Home Depot. So what you're doing is you're acting as the courier for these for these apps, you're the courier. So I picked up a roadie um, at uh, the Oxen Hill Home Depot, right down the street from my shop. Uh, it took me into DC, um, right off New York Avenue. It was basically, it said it was 11 miles. I didn't check the mileage, but I got paid $12.09 for that. I then jumped back on Rody. I completed that order, delivered it to the person's front porch. I then picked up another Rody order going from DC to Silver Spring. It was about seven miles and I got paid almost $11 for that. Um, I was sitting in a little bit of traffic. It's raining this morning. Um, and then picked up another app called Point Pickup. I'll put a link down below to that if you're interested. Point Pickup. It was a Walmart pickup, but it wasn't one order. It was four, four individual orders, right? They were all within like a five or six mile radius. So I went to Walmart, went to the customer help desk. I picked up four bags, or actually five bags. One order had two bags. Picked up the four, five bags, going to four different addresses. I completed that in like 45 minutes at most. It might've been a little less. Um, that was another $17. So. Right now, um, I'm kind of scanning the app, seeing if there's other stuff that'll come up because I have an Amazon Flex order coming up in about two hours uh, at three o'clock. And that's gonna pay me $84 for three hours worth of work. Or actually, no, I think it's three and a half hours worth of work. But guys, all, you know, I'm, I'm just sharing this information. If you like it, if, you, you know, if, if you're interested in doing some extra stuff, so basically, by the time I get home today, uh, 
it'll be about, I don't know, late afternoon, right? Four o'clock, five o'clock. And I made $123, right? That doesn't seem like a lot, right? Now keep in mind, I only spent about two hours this morning and I'm gonna spend three hours this afternoon, right? So let's say five hours, let's say six hours. In six hours, to make $123, do the math, right? It's like 20, ballpark, it's about $25 an hour that you'll get paid, 25 bucks, right? So I'm gonna do this app, uh, this Amazon Flex order this afternoon, but it got me to thinking, if I just did like, I don't know, two hours in the morning, and did one Amazon Flex a day, that's $123 a day, five hours at most. If I did that five days a week, like let's say I wanna relax on Saturday and Sunday, right? Relax on Saturday and Sunday, no big deal. I work five days, five hours a day, so it's 25 hours. That actually comes out to six, almost $620 a week, right? Not life changing, but it could be. You know, I don't know your situation, you don't know my situation, that could be, a drastic change in your financial situation, my financial situation for that matter. Because the way I think about it is, we're only talking about 10 hours a week. Five hours a day, five days a week, that's 10 hours a week, 600 bucks. Now think about the math. You divide those 10 hours, right? So you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're gonna work. So the whole week's gonna be 25 hours total. 25 hours for $600. And if you just did that five days a week for a month, that's almost $2,500 a month, guys. Like, that's, to me, yeah, small business owner, entrepreneur, real estate investor, all those accolades don't mean a hill of beans if you're not actively doing them every single day in and out. So as we know with the pandemic, I have a lot of extra free time. I'm still making my investments. I'm still involved in stocks and, and you know, other other investments in my IRA investments, my 401k investments. But guys, I have a lot of extra time and I'm tired of sitting around doing nothing. You know, I'm just tired of it. So 2,500 bucks a month working a side gig. That's not bad. I don't care who you are. That's not bad money. I mean, I haven't I put 29 miles today. 20. I'm looking at the dash. I put 29 miles on the car. I'll probably put when I do Amazon this afternoon. Probably put another 40 or 50 miles. So probably less than 100 for the day. I'm making 125 bucks. Take out my little gas expense. Let's just call it 100. You know, 100, 500. Still 2,000 profit. 2,000 profit a month. So I just want to jump, share with you guys just briefly. Um, what I've been doing. Do me a favor, if you enjoy the content, smash that like button, man. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel up for the entrepreneurs, the side hustlers, the investors. You know, we can all be doing other things. You know, the world is not working the way we normally like the world to work, but that doesn't mean you can't get out and do things. You know, socially distanced, yeah, of course. I have not had any personal contact doing any of these deliveries. I'm scanning receipts, I'm making points, I'm converting points over to real money. And you know, if it's something you wanna do, man, subscribe to the channel, man. I'd love to hear from you, comment below. Um, that's all I have for now. I'm getting ready to head over to Lanham in the next I don't, hour and a half or so and do a three hour block with Amazon Flex, make 84 bucks. But guys, um, Chris Birch, Entrepreneur Strategies, I'll see you guys soon.